Hey, Hans here again from Request for Music with the next video on Singshi, uh, part number four, where I also start using the morph setting for the carrier. Um, so what I will do, I'll, I'll first um, let's hook up the gate again because I took that out in the last time. So I got my gate for my um, normal Singshi um, functioning. So it's it's just using this, and obviously if I dial the uh, decay and stuff down it's going to be used as a normal um, as a sequence or so sorry as a normal oscillator source that way and we're just using the, the sine wave of the carrier and not modulating anything um, that is sounding already pretty pleasing is because I've got this AW Galactic port from Chris Neuberger in there um, so what I'm going to do is add some extra frames and I'm just going to create sort of um, a sequence in there so I could actually do that manually because if I dial a couple of sounds in there sorry dial a couple of frames in there don't want eight just want eight frames it's going through all of those eight frames now uh, based on the setting of the uh, the time for each of each and all of those frames and they're all set at quarter frames because that's the default so that means if you add an extra frame it's going to be set at one quarter as you can see so um, those are set at the same time it's just running through and the overall envelope being based on the gate uh, trigger for from your keyboard is designing or is defining the overall sound so if i make this a bit longer it's sounding longer that's all there is to it then i've got this pitch uh, shift sort of or this pitch knob in here so let's go into my next frame and the setting is actually um, is based on 12 frames per volt so if i would dial it up all the frame all the way to one then the next one is going to be at that second octave right and if i switch this to uh, to be reset by the keyboard i can go through it that way but that means that if i have different settings so if i dial this to uh, um, and I can actually use the solo frame to make sure let's set a longer decay time and so on. If I switch to solo, uh, I can actually go through these frames and it will stay within that current frame, with within that active frame. So if I dial... Got it or set the reset, sorry. Hmm. Oh, find a bug myself. Okay. Um, I will get uh, that checked out later, but um, normally you would remain at such a, a, a frame setting. But if I uh, going through this um, this motion, I can do it by going into my first frame and se set this. The second frame was set at a higher pitch, and let's uh, let it follow the keyboard. Set my third frame. So now it's following this and based of course on that first frame which was the standard setting so that's following my, my main key and the, the speed is low for everything so let's go back to my first frame and change the time down for everything so switch the edit end on and um, make sure that it's at one and 
set this back to May 16th. But if I uh, switch on the morph now, it's morphing between some values there. And uh, it's, it's going through the motion that way. Uh, so that sounds a lot different. And I can actually do that based on every frame. So, so if I went in my third frame or fourth frame in there, I could have set my my modulation for my um, or using the modulation of the modulator to modulate the carrier so let's get back to my first frame and edit every third frame or something let's let's just see what that does and um, dial up the uh, the modulation <laughs> And if I want to have one sound longer, say that if I go in my um, eighth frame, I have this switched off again, of course, and I set my eighth frame to a long. <laughs> And then do something with morph again uh, for for the sound for the modulation. So switch this off, or and maybe give that that eighth frame a l a some noise modulation. So I'm still in that eighth frame. And So yeah, um, I think in the end it all comes down to experimenting with this kind of stuff. There's there's a whole lot of options. It's definitely your not your average oscillator, I think. Um, and I'm not quite sure if I have a setup here. Let's let's see what I have. I'm I don't think I have it here. Hang on one second. Mm. Let's see if I can find any of the patches that I made earlier um, because I've done some stuff with with yeah with sort of sequences because if I combine a couple of zinc sheets and I set one to uh, some sequence and I set the other one to a sequence I can do some stuff that way so let's see if I can find that um, sounds voltage uh, in my presets um, let's see if I have it there where Yeah, so I've got something Midnight Express, uh, which was um, a song by Giorgio Moroder for for a movie, and uh, I've got that set here. So let's uh, take that. I don't have to save this. <laughs> What is in here is uh, is one sing sheet being um, running through that first sequence. So that's the one here. Uh, so that means that if I want to change the sound of that, I can actually use it uses 16 frames there. And. Uh,
has grown through this delay, so uh, let's uh, lower the, the mix for those a bit. Lower the volume a bit. Um, it's self-driving its gate by using the gate output. And uh, and I've got the setting of the uh, of the um, HW or it's AW Galactic a bit higher, so that's why it's it was a bit messy, perhaps. So I change the pitch now for everything, and then of course nothing works exactly the same anymore. So that's a bit of a pity there, and I can't do un undo that, I think. Um, so let me uh, refresh that. I'm, I'll starting. I'll download that again. So I'll double click that Midnight Express one. Um, no changes. So let's first of all uh, look at this one again. I'll edit all and I'll drive down the uh make sure that I switch this off because I'm, I'm hearing something that is not supposed to happen but anyway you, you hear that I have this this first one, this first thing she, which is running the, uh, the the standard sequence, and this second thing she here has a total of 56 um, 56 frames where I went through all of those frames to to set them to the uh, original sequence that uh, that Georgia Moroder used. So let's switch that on. <laughs> Actually, in this case, uh, it's going through the delay here in the part, and I, the the stuff that I didn't talk about really was the gate or sorry, the control voltage output, and I use the control voltage output set to the car carrier morph that is using as modulation uh, or as control voltage type, and I actually hook that up with the uh, with the speed of my delay. So when I so that's messing around with that speed. So if I take that out, it's going to use it as a normal echo. And as soon as I dial this in or switch it on, then it's actually messing around with those modulations of my delay. And the last thing that I had in here was uh, my uh, uh, my Electrax that was using just uh, a beat that was underneath so uh, that was the total of the sound so uh, yeah that was an idea for for just some sequence that you can actually use if you wanted to I'm not quite sure what I have for the rest in there so let's just take any other uh, this is some in this case in this case, again, I'm driving the uh, the gate from Zingshi with his own output gate, and um, I've just had have 32 frames in there with different settings for pitches, for modulation, for morph settings, and so on. So if I would just go over this, you'll see that it switches all the way around, and goes through all kinds of settings for all those 32. And um, yeah, the uh, the gate is driving all of them, so you get sort of a synthetic kind of noise percussion in the back.
and I'm pressing some nodes at that point somewhere. So if the uh, amount of modulation is too too far up for pitch and for uh, noise, the actual sound may be very noisy for that uh, specific frame. Uh, but other pitches that are don't use as much mod modulation will still be um, capable of being run by the pitch of the keyboard. So if I dial this up. So yeah, that's I think it covers actually all of the things that are in there. Um, so hopefully check it out and uh, hope you liked it enough to to buy it, of course. But uh, at least check it out and um, try it and see what it can do for you. So I'm off and go go on to the next module and hope to see you back later. Cheers, bye bye.